All the excitement and fun with starting a new school year can also be overshadowed by some fear for some parents and kids. Joining us now to discuss back to school worries and how to tackle them is Joyce Lowry, the Administrator of School Psychological Services with Oklahoma City Public Schools. Thank you for being with us, Joyce. Thank you for inviting me. Okay, so what are some uh, fears that we have to tackle as, you know, with kids and even parents? Well, I spoke with some of my parents that have children starting back to school and they mentioned concerns about safety mm -hmm. and about would the teacher treat their children nicely and those kinds of things. But p parents that are starting their children for the first time to school have a lot of worries about separation. Mm -hmm. They are very concerned about that, as are the children. And so I had some ideas that they could possibly take you know, from this and use to help them do a little better job and not worry so much. Yeah, give us just, give us just a few ideas. Okay, if one, you've got a little anxiety about this. <laughs> one thing, um, you know, children have meltdowns whenever they are tired, hungry, mm -hmm. or thirsty. Mm. So it's it's very important that they have good rest, that they are uh, fed well, and so start the day with a good breakfast, and then that they have water there if they get thirsty. And I think all the teachers are aware of that and, and make a, a big effort to do that. So they're very concerned about that. So those are some things that parents can do to be sure. Another thing is the, the bedtime. You know, a lot of times during summer, we let them stay up later. So now is the time to start getting them ready so that they can get up early to go to school and be refreshed. So get those routines started now. Exactly, so maybe going to bed, maybe 15 minutes earlier every day until they're at their regular bedtime so that they don't have those meltdowns and they don't feel tired and they can do well in school. We definitely want them to do well. Absolutely. If, if I am a mom, is a, you know, am I a little concerned coming mm -hmm. up for the next week? Do I, should I voice those concerns with my child or should I just kind of keep them to myself and act like everything's good? Well, the most important thing for children is how your mom and dad perceive school. Mm -hmm. If they perceive it as a fun, exciting place and they don't express their fears, the children are going to feel that way too. So it's very important that you encourage them. You mm -hmm. talk about the fun times they're going to have and the things they're going to learn at school and encourage that so that they don't feel that fear. Even though you might be feeling it yourself, <laughs> it's probably better not to express it to your children to let them have the excitement. And then if your child does cry when you first take them to school, realize that's kind of a normal thing and it should disappear in a week or two, mm -hmm. that anxiety. Once they've uh, kind of acclimated to their teacher and to the class, Room, then it should be much better. Well, thank you so much for being with us, Joyce. Uh, we've listed some helpful agencies on our website. Just go to news9.com slash 405. And like the uniforms you were talking about, mm -hmm. there is help. So call the school for that kind of help. Call your principals Great. and your teachers. Okay? Good advice. Thanks, Thanks so much. Thank I like you. that.